You guys know what time it is. It's time for another Let's Play in Nocturne. I'm super excited. I actually got some tips in the comments. So, uh, if I can remember them. Let's see. Okay. So there's a lot of things I need to learn. Well, just practice. So I can switch up my, my familiars in battle. There's extra options. I need to talk to the person at Midia's house. Hello. Ah, your Reviel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please take this. It may not be a lot, but it's my sincerest thanks to you. The hexagram crest. Holy good no again. Yo, what's up? You've truly been a great help. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Got that. Now we need to go to the end. Oh. This isn't the end, this is a supply shop. Wait, the end's over here. I was at the end. Hello. Get out of the way. Can't you see that I'm sweeping? Oh. Oh, hello, little Luna. Thank you for the big help the other day. Hello, Luna. Thank you for the big help, dear. Oh, hello. Suppose it's good to see you. So take it easy once in a while. Okay. Hmm. You're Riviel, right? It's nice meeting you. What business do you have with me? Oh, my apologies. It isn't really anything important. Just that due to perhaps my occupation as a fortune teller, I've become a little sensitive to the atmosphere. Huh. You can feel a tense aura, too, right? Could it be the aura of a vampire? No, that's not it. This tense aura is too, so extreme that it can't be on the same level as a vampire's aura. You. Why is this tense aura here in this small village? Never mind in the depths of this forest. This is unbelievable, even though it's the truth. That's why I'm wondering if you can help to protect this village. Of course. I'm not asking you to do this for free. I'll pay you the reward in advance. Here you go. Swam, swam. As you can see, one of the items is a rare lacrima. It's able to store various memories. As for the book, it would be good to read it if you wish to reset all that you have learned. These two items are bound to be of use in your journey, so feel free to use them when you need to. In this game, you are unable to save your progress normally in all dungeons except chaos territory. Only by using the lacrima will you be able to save your progress in dungeons. The lacrima can be at most used three times. However, the blue crystal outside the end can restore the lacrima to normal, allowing you to use it again three times. It would especially be good to use the lacrima when you obtain a rare item before facing the boss. Also, you can use the Book of Five Rings to reset your skills in case you learn the wrong set of skills and wish to learn a new set. Hell yeah! Oh yes, one more thing. Three adventures currently stay here. One is a mage with a blue hat. Ah, oh, another is a swordsman walking about just outside here. And the third is a warrior is at the weapon's armor shop. It would help to try asking them anything that you're unsure of. <coughs> with that, I leave the rest to you. I don't expect you to play tough. Though, just be a natural, so I'm counting on you. Alright. Oh yeah. Let's see. So shout out to Bugfrag. He, he totally pointed me in the right direction there. And if I go to skill. There's there's a section here somewhere. There's some place where I can actually level up my skills or spiritual. Revio Vaughn de Resonance. Luna Winston! <laughs> Hell yeah. Swing. Swing. Sorry. 
You know, I had to. It had to be done. Hey, hey, wait, don't. I think I have too many things on my mind, so I'll stay here a little longer. Uh, ask a train. Well, just so you know, this will take a while, okay? First of all, the important thing is that you can't become stronger by simply by fighting enemies. You also have to learn skills. Skills can be learned by going to the main menu status. Select those characters that you wish to teach skills to and press the inner key. You will be brought to the characters on your skills screen. Oh man, this game is dope. This game is dope. Pressing left to right keys, you can scroll through various skills to learn like sword magic. To learn like sword <laughs> magic and fast skills. Every skill has a level, and the maximum level of most is 5. By increasing the skill level, you also increase skill stats such as power and accuracy. On the other hand, the magical enchant time skill increases as this level increases becomes more powerful. Now let's try leveling this skill air slash to so increase the skill level for Christina King. Right, let's take a look at the top right of the screen. Yeah. Okay. In this case, hell yeah. So I can level up a few times. Hell yeah. And next is the experience points needed to level up a character. And they can, in this case, you need to spend at least 182 experience points for the skills to level up. One thing we at the bottom left. Yes. Those values will add up to your stats. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cost It's basically how we learn skills and training skills. Take note to get carried away with only learning new skills and not leveling them up, as that will lead to no stat growth at all. Find the balance in your stack with by spinning XP to at least a level of skills or reasonable levels. That's the way I dark slasher, dude. I'm leveling the fuck up out of dark slasher, dude. You know me. Oh, shit. That's the way to become stronger effectively. Hell yeah. Alright, so he said... The boss I was fighting last episode... Essentially... Wait, so that means... What's her shit? What's that? Auto, auto heals. This is really good. Can't do it. Game says no. Thanks. Dark Slasher. Yes. Change this high MP for Dark Sword and Slash Lady with it. I mean, it's the upgrade is not that like noticeable. Wind whip. Now see, there's, these are gonna be the things that... Uh, holy, that power though.
Raviel? Yes. It all makes sense now that I've come here. Thanks for bringing me here. Ah, Mr. Raviel! Is it okay if we follow you? Do whatever you want. Uh, um, Mr. Raviel is just blunt in nature. He certainly doesn't mean any harm. <laughs> it's all good. In any case, since he's fine with us following him. Why not? I suppose you're right. Uh, he's already gone far ahead of us. I should have saved. <laughs> Mr. Reviel? What are you doing? The world is full of mana. This feeling. Don't tell me. Uh, what? Mana changes constantly. Mana is resonating with him. I impressive. A barrier is but a strain on mana. Remember this well. Eh? Don't look away from him. Yes. The spectacle. The feel of mana. And his breathing. Luna, make sure everything is engraved on your mind, heart, and soul. One day you will no doubt realize your true potential. One can't decipher that strain using the rich mana at the heavenly ground. That is the most effective way for detecting barriers. I have received permission from the village chief. Please allow me through. Alright, sorry for the delay. At any rate, the village chief's intention is not for anyone to disturb them. No, it is I who should apologize. While I can very much empathize with your feelings, I have my job to do as well. So please understand. Oh, shizzle dizzle. What's happening here? This is just cruel. It's beyond my imagination. It's beyond imagination. <laughs> Um, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Well, why are there still victims? Didn't I hear that the vampire was already taken down by you and Riviel last night? There are mainly two possible reasons for this. One reason is what is feared to be a secondary infection. After a vampire sucks the blood of his victim, resulting in his dark mana entering the victim's body, there's a chance that the Dark Mana will turn the victim into a vampire. That's about the only way for a vampire to come into existence. Even the vampire who intruded this village last night was born that way. I see. 
Um, what about the other reason? There could well be a particular... A peculiar... There could well be a peculiar... Eh? There's probably more than meets the eye. At any rate, the sight of this isn't frightening for a warrior like me. Huh? Um, what's the matter? This lady... Strange. What do you mean? Why is this lady the only one without a bite wound? Ah, uh, sorry. This lady isn't a victim. She only recently passed away. As she had no relatives, we plan to bear her along with these victims. I see. It's still strange, though. There's something fishy about this. Perhaps I should check on her. Ah, uh, why did you... My apologies. There's something I need to check. You're giving her your blood to drink. Why? As I thought. Please tell me all that you know about this lady. Uh, um, she's Saino Taylor, age 22. She was a form of the traveler who lived by herself on the outskirts of this village, as she mainly hunted for animals for a living. She was supposed to meet Gordon, an employee of the supply shop here, to pass her, but she did not show up. Given the recent chaos by vampires, several villagers feared that she could have encountered a vampire, and so they went in search for her before eventually discovering her dead later that evening in a distant mountain hut presumed to be her home. I, I really like the music. It's wonderful. And I don't want to turn it down too much. I just feel like I really gotta you know the estimated time the estimated time of death is yesterday midnight and the cause of death is unknown she doesn't appear to have any external injuries I see as I thought this lady couldn't have died any other way she died as a result of a vampire sucking her blood but how could that be I just know it no tricks not even ingenious ones can fool me and it wasn't just an unnatural death. The vampire in question is at least mid-class. Vampires can't enter a home unless invited. That being said, it's simply impossible for this lady to have been killed by the vampire in her home. And, but... But the fact is, she died in the hut. So what exactly could have happened? Isn't there anything peculiar that could have allowed the vampire to kill her from the outside? Ah, the truth is her exact spot of death is at the ledge of the window in the hut. Could it be that she opened the window to take a look outside, only to be bitten by the vampire from the outside? Well, given that she was most certainly in a state of fright upon encountering the vampire, would she have opened the window and exposed herself by looking out of it? Ah, uh, no. Come to think of it, though, I've heard speculations that the vampire cast hypnotic spell on it. Cast a hypnotic spell. So perhaps she opened the window because of that? No, that couldn't be the case either. Not even with careful planning, vampires are at best able to use basic mind control skill. They aren't capable of using high level and highly efficient hypno hypnotic hypnot <coughs> hypnotic spell. But if that's so, then how in the world was she killed by the vampire in her home? As you said, it's impossible for a vampire to do that. Yes, that's right. It's simply impossible. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't expect it to be such an intricate seal barrier. Who could have possibly cast it? This barrier has four cores. They're inextricably intertwined. And it appears that this barrier target attacks beam, targets dark beams. And that means if I don't destroy all the cores, I won't be able to get out of this forest. Above all, the element of this barrier is potentially lethal to me. Is this a barrier specifically created to deal with me? Nah, can't be. Well, no matter. 
I'll just destroy the cores one at a time. That'll probably force the creator of this barrier to show up eventually. I'll start with the core close to this hill. I'll probably aim to get this done before the end of the day. Speak to Chaos at his residence to unlock access to alchemy. Chaos. Okay. Um, if I remember how to get there. <laughs> Through alchemy, you can create useful weapons, armors, and sorceries. Oh my gosh. You can even create rare magic weapons. So I had down to Chaos. <laughs> Right, so I, oh my god, I don't know how to get the chaos. What is chaos? Where's he get? Where's he? Uh, talk to me, dude. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Can I talk to you? Oh, okay, here we go. Chaos. This isn't your house, chaos. What's up? Oh, hell yeah, we're just in chill time. Cool. How do I get the chaos? Is, is there a map? All right. So I fend for my own. A vampire who's bad at directions. I mean, a vampire hunter. Uh. <clears throat> Wait. Isn't there also a button? The highlights things. Is this a dungeon? Am I ready for this? Alright. Oh man, I'm loaded up with. Okay. I got. Yeah, I'm loaded with familiars. Sup? Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. What? Did he just. There's at least a monster here that uses magic. It's a little annoying. You can use the skill I afford to escape from battle. The success rate of this skill depends upon its level as well as Revion's enemy's mentality. Use the skill whenever you face unpleasant enemies or when you're running low on supplies. During a battle, you can switch active from the enemy. really happening though. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. Get it. So I guess I can just do that when one actually goes down. Yeah. Get him, boys. Yeah. Woo. I don't know where chaos lives. Beautiful. Lovely. I'm just messing up rabbits, dude. Oh my god. It wasn't a dungeon. I've progressed the story. Hmm. Let's take a short break. Huh? But. Yeah. Uh, there's something on your mind. You aren't able to focus much. Yes, sorry. You look to have been troubled about something since this morning. 
Did something happen yesterday? It seems I'm bad at hiding things, aren't I? After all, you could tell I'm troubled straight away. Hmm. Mr. Reviel is a great person, isn't he? Even though he's probably about the same age as me, his knowledge, his fighting skills, his magic power, and his judgment are all superb. Unlike me, who's weak and a far cry from him. My spear skills can't compare to his sword skills. I can only at best be in his shadow. And despite having put a lot of effort into studying medicine, I couldn't figure out Midia's illness at all. Mr. Reviel, on the other hand, was able to figure out just by looking at her. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't waste your precious time in training me. No. Anyone would have thought the same as you. I too thought like that in the past. I had the best sword skills in my town, and I've always wanted to test my skills on other warriors. But soon I realized that the world was full of beasts like warriors, <laughs> including godlike sword prodigies. I wasn't able to be a match for them. Mr. Raj, is that why you became a blacksmith? No. Seeing how weak I was, I began training like a madman just so I could make a name for myself as a full-fledged sword. <laughs> In the end, though, I was downed by a dip. No. A monster that robbed me of my right eye and rendered my left arm useless. I was forced to give up my life as a swordsman. But I was satisfied. Huh? While I had shed tears over my powerless self, I was able to protect what I wanted to protect to the very end. I only wasn't able to become the strongest swordsman. Such was the life of the old me, Rashul Hannibal. What about you then, Luna? Eh? What is your aim in learning spear skills? What do you hope to achieve by studying medicine? I... I... A... A pat on the head. I want someone to give me a warm pat on the head and say things like, It's been hard on you. You did well. And it's alright now. While I also want to be a noted doctor who can heal any diseases, more importantly, I just want a pat on the head. Good answer. What? That's, without a doubt, something only you can achieve. Even Riviel can't become a noted doctor or a master healer, and you shouldn't be humble about what you want to do. Be willing. Be proud. I know you can do that, which is precisely why I'm training you in spear fighting. Thank you very much. Um, I can excel, can I? Don't worry. You definitely can. Break's time's over. Shall we resume? Yes. Oh, snap. Now I'm in a dungeon. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it was a double episode. I got so into it. That'll be all for this one. You know I'm about ready to make another one. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Thank you for, uh, I want to get his name right. Bugfragged. Thank you, Bugfragged. Uh, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for commenting and letting me know what I need to do, because I probably wouldn't have known to do that. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely a lot to this game. I'm definitely enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.